Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here for another video at the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua and this video is continuing our series of different components of Twivy, our all-in-one security scanner. In this video we're going to look at misconfigurations. What are they? How do you identify them? And how can you prevent them? You know, I just did a webinar with our friends from Teleport in which we talked all about misconfigurations. So I thought I'm going to continue the conversation here on the YouTube channel. Let's get started. So we are here on the Trivi repository and in the Trivi repository you can find the documentation. Let's open up the documentation. And in here you will first find the installation options. Now for the Trivi CLI you have very different types of installation options, um, whether you want to use it locally in your CLI or you can also use the different actions. For example, we have official GitHub actions and pretty much any type of action, um, <laughs> of action, <laughs> of CICD pipeline. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, here is the, for example, Circle CI, Travis C CI, GitLab CI, Bitbucket pipelines, and so on. So you can find for your CICD pipeline, depending on which one you use, you can find the step for Trivi as well. Now, in the CLI documentation, you will find a large section on misconfiguration. What are misconfiguration? Well, in this cloud native world, we set up lots and lots of configuration files, lots and lots of YAML files, maybe Terraform. Um, we define our Docker containers and Docker files, just to name a few types of configurations. If you're using AWS, you might be using CloudFormation. Now, these are all components that we want to scan for misconfiguration. So you can scan um, container images, Docker file, file system and Git repositories as well um, for misconfigurations if you provide the additional flag. But, so here, if you say security check config in your image scans, that's how you could, for example, scan um, a container image also for misconfigurations, not just for vulnerabilities. So without this flag, it will just check for vulnerabilities. Then you can also check your file systems and so on. However, we also have a specific flag, which is the config flag. That Trivi config flag and the Trivi config config flag is actually um, providing the specific misconfigurations. So across our system development lifecycle, we will deal with different resources. We will deal with different packages and libraries that have to be checked for misconfigurations. Maybe before we're using them, because ultimately you don't want to use somebody third party, somebody else's resources um, without actually knowing what's within and how they are configured. Right um, now, when we're, for example, using Git repositories, we can also check them with the additional flag for misconfigurations with the dash dash security checks config flag. And then once we have developed our application, we can then check our Docker file for security issues, for misconfigurations, um, container images, for misconfigurations like just shown, um, for example, the base container image that we're using. If we're using somebody else's base container image, it could likely happen that there are already misconfigurations that we might not want to reuse in our container image. So once you have the Trivi CNI installed, you can find the commands through Trivi and then you will see a list of commands. And here is the Trivi config command for misconfiguration scans. Now, again, you could also use the dash dash security checks config to check a container image. Um, this one. Okay. So Trivi image security checks config and then the container image name or another resource is you could do Trivi file system and then specify the file system or Git repository that you would like to scan instead. So as you can see here, it says misconfiguration scan is enabled through this check. Otherwise it will not perform the misconfiguration scan and only the vulnerability scan like we've seen in our previous tutorial. Now in this case, in this container image, there are no configuration files. As you can see it detected config files zero so it will not be able to scan any misconfigurations because there are no configurations in that file found now with the trivi config flag config 
we can use all of our other flags that we could, for example, use in our vulnerability scanning. For example, the severity flag as well. Um, severity, then output, if you want to specify an output file. Um, it's very much the same process as when we are doing vulnerability scans. So in this repository, in the Trivi demo repository, that's also linked below in the description, we can find our bad infrastructure as code. And within that bad infrastructure as code, we have a Docker, Kubernetes and Terraform file. Now the nice thing about Trivi is that we could just do Trivi and then, well, config, config, and then bad infrastructure as code. And it will scan all of those different files all at once. However, I want to show you first how it would scan, for example, the Docker file that's in the Docker directory here. Now, different to vulnerability scans, you will not be shown the output in a table, but you will have a list of different misconfigurations that are found within the Docker file. Now, different to your vulnerability scans, you will not be presented with a table, but with a list of different misconfigurations that are found within the resource that you scanned within your scan target, in this case, our Docker file. So this is starting from something that we probably all know, which is the Ubuntu latest tag. You shouldn't use a latest tag within your uh, base container image. And then it lists several other misconfigurations. Now, another nice thing here is that you can see the AVD and you can look up that link and find further information, further details of that misconfiguration. Now, let's say we are presented with a list of, I don't know, um, 200 misconfigurations. How do we actually go about um, filtering and addressing them? So if we say trivi config and then the file, and we just scan all of the files within, we are presented with how many misconfigurations? Let's see, where does it start? Here we go. We are presented with 79 different tests, meaning those are the different configurations that could have misconfigurations in them that are found. And of those, 59 have passed and there are 20 failures. Now, 20 failures is still pretty um, easy to categorize and go through. Um, however, we might still just want to look at high vulnerabilities since there seem to be a lot. Um, so we can again use the flag severity and then high. And this will only show us the high misconfiguration issues um, within the resource that we scanned. Similarly, you can use all of the other flags. You could also, if you don't want to actually look at um, the different, like you look at the terminal or at the output of your CICD pipeline for any misconfigurations that have been scanned, you could also specify an output file. So um, test.json, for example, and this will then provide the output of the scan in our test.json file. So we can look at the test.json file and we can see the scan output within. And similarly, we could also forward the scan result to other tools and then assign ownership of the different misconfiguration issues. So for example, misconfiguration issues related to the Docker file, that might be somebody else who's responsible for that versus the misconfiguration that I identified in our Kubernetes manifests. Now, Trivi, in addition to scanning Terraform, uh, Kubernetes, uh, Docker file, cloud formation. It can also scan your Helm charts and your customized templating. So anything that's basically within Kubernetes related, um, any template file, any configuration file, it can also, Trivi can also scan. So this is the misconfiguration part of Trivi. Like always, we hope this video was useful. If there are other tutorials that you would like to see, please do comment them below in the comments section. All of the resources used, links provided in the description of this tutorial. I hope this was useful and it would mean a lot to us if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. We would love to see one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.